What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Extra Digest podcast. There, of course, uh, there's not much to talk about because we've got international break and uh, we should just be touching up and the Premier League. But the previous weekend, a few things that have popped up in the few days we've been having a break. And then, of course, you might have a look at what will be happening when we come back to the Premier League because we shall be going to game week um, 30. 30. Like we'll talk for yeah, we'll take it, take it, till the end of the season. No more breaks. And today I'm joined by a man who is making his second appearance or his second debut, if you like. A man like Joe Saina. How are you doing, brother? I'm doing all right. How are you? Right? I'm great. I'm great. I'm 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 good. Good. No, 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 this is good. Yeah. I, I think because, you know, I'm used to hosting you all this time yeah. on radio. So it feels good that man today can talk more yeah. instead of just cutting down man's segment. Exactly. <laughs> Let's reverse the roles now. <laughs> so Joe Saina, obviously we've seen him here before he has featured in an episode. It was him and... Um, Big Willie, mm-hmm. of course, we work with Joe Saina, uh, Kiss 100 and Classic 105. Mm-hmm. Add the score and the kickoff every Saturday from 3 to 7 p.m. Good stuff. All right. Joe Saina also is a Man United fan. That's the most unfortunate thing he has ever done. It's not unfortunate. Yeah. It's the best thing I've ever done. Oh, yeah? Yeah. He shall be telling us more about that uh-huh. uh, and how this season is coming along as far as he goes and his club. So, um, let's start off. For fans who have never seen you before, mm. how, long did you, how long ago did you start supporting Man United? And maybe why? My dad introduced me to Manchester United back in 97. Damn. Back in 97. Uh-huh. I believe I was in either class 3 or class 4. Okay. Then. So I was introduced to Manchester United. Okay. And my dad just told me, best club in the world. Yeah. That was Period. it. Period. So you remember we used to have Made in Germany. Yes. Yeah, uh, on KBC. Um, and we look at Bayern Munich and all those other teams. My mm. dad is like, Skumoja, I'll show you all about Manchester United. Yeah. So I grew with the idea of Manchester United. I started following them. Next yeah. thing you know, I'm like, I'm talking about Giggs. I'm talking about Cantona. Yeah. I'm talking about, you know, um, all these other guys, Beckham, Scholes. Yeah. He, the Steve Bruce's who had retired then. Mm. So Did you Michael, ever talk about uh, Gary Neville? <laughs> the Neville <laughs> brothers. Yeah, well, they, ever? They, they, they were part of the class of 92. So yes. he, he's the one who told me about the class of 92. Okay. And then now, after now, 99, 2000, especially mm. after the treble season. Yes. That's when now, you know, I was in Form 1, I believe, in 2000. So that's mm. when I, I got into Deeper it into completely. Yeah. Now understanding the squad dynamics and everything, and everything. Yeah. So, yeah. For the last 23 years, I've been a United, United fan. Good, good, yeah. good stuff, man. I can say you've seen a lot of trophies being won. And I've seen a lot of losses. Yeah, at yeah. the same time. Mm. Joe, the last time we were here with you, uh, I don't think you had fired Ole. No, yeah. Yeah, that's how, that's how Th- far that's back how it was. That's how long ago it was. <laughs> you not fired Ole. I think uh, he was still there. Yeah, it was a new season, actually. We just finished the other season where we finished second. Yeah. And I think that was the biggest miracle. Apart from Ho- Jose Mourinho's miracle of yeah. winning... The Europa League and Ash finishing second. Second also yeah. again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, the next miracle was obviously getting Ole. second. Lukiana Ole. Yeah. It, uh, after yeah. that, you got in. Uh, who was it? Was it Giggs? How many? We, we had director. No, 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 no. In between. Mm. I think. Was it after Ole? Was it Carrick? Oh, Carrick. It was. I think it was Michael Carrick. And then this director of football. And then director of football, Ralph Ragnick. Yeah, Ralph Ragnick, yeah. and then he left. That's what he brought on. Uh, Eric Ten Hag. Eric Ten Hag. Mm. You also brought in Ronaldo. What is your opinion on Ronaldo coming and him going? Because he never got to fetch that. No, here's the thing for me. Um, I believe that um, the way Ten Hag wanted Ronaldo to play is not the way Ronaldo wanted to play for Manchester United. Mm-hmm. Ronaldo knew that he was going to be the number one guy in the club. Okay. And he knew that all the balls and all the supplies would be to him. Mm. Now, he did not know that Ten Hag had another plan whereby we are going to play something called counter press. Okay. Okay. Mm. So from the goalkeeper, immediately you press. Mm. We press every numbers you get. Yeah. So for him, it was more of he wanted the club or the team to carry him. Mm. He just needed. Oh, do you have do you have a do you have a ball for me? Do you have a pass for me? Yeah. Do you have a through pass or something like that? Yeah. There you go. But now that failed because. Ten Hag wanted more from him. Yeah. Not just only scoring goals. And he could not offer, yeah. Yes, yes. Mm. Not only scoring goals, but counter press. Yes, you're not a good ca- you're not a good defender coming back. Yeah. Obviously, you're an out and out striker. But you but have to try. Counter, yeah, but counter press. Yeah. Like immediately the goalkeeper distributes the ball to the centre backs of the wing backs. Be on their case. Press. Yeah. And that's something he did not want to do. So yeah. I guess that's where, you know, the the marriage, so to speak, of Cristiano Ronaldo and Manchester United. Yeah. 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 A, b- a bit unfortunately considering like how 
uh, good it was, how good it seemed when he came back. I mean, it was a feel good story. Yeah, absolutely. It, it's not, it's like, for example, Henri coming back to yeah. play for. You remember when he came back to and play for? And banged on his debut, Ooh. second debut. Exactly. Yeah. Drop back coming back to Chelsea. Yeah, and winning the league. That, it Do was supposed to be like that. Do we have anyone coming back to Tottenham? No. What is Tottenham? No. Is that a club? At the bio. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we yes. shall talk of that yes, yes, a bit yes. later on. Right. Yes. So yeah. it, was, it, was a, it was a fairy tale feeling, you know, of you know a legend coming back. Yeah. Still in his prime, 35, 36. Yes. Banging in goals. You know, funny enough. Yes. He takes a lot of stick, but he was our top scorer that season. That season, the first season. That, that, that's a funny thing. Yeah. You know, so pound for pound, he did his job. Yeah. It's just that when uh, the tides changed and the tactics changed yeah. from the old manager to the new manager, yeah. he simply couldn't adapt. He could not adapt. And obviously, that interview with Piers Morgan didn't help. Of course. Mm. And in football, I think the modern world we are in, we either adapt or you die. It, correct. And he correct. could not adapt. Correct. And it's crazy how also in football people forget very fast. Because since he left, you have won a cup. And nobody's talking shit about Ronaldo now. With Vegost. With Vegost. I mean, of all other people, Vegost will go Vegost. to all the games. Vegost and yeah. Carol. Peter Crouch, same was up. Same was up. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, you've won a cup, you've, yeah, you've uh, finally gotten quench your thirst of trophies for mm-hmm. six years. How does that make you feel? Well, it's, I, I, like I said on radio, it is a beginning of trophies to come in. Mm. Here's the thing. It was, it's not even a rebuild. Six years without a trophy. Yeah. That Klopp has won close to five trophies since then. If, if you think mm. about it. Yeah, the league, the Champions League, and those... Yes. Yes, and, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. For a Pep Guardiola. Oh. Look at the number of oh Premier League he's won at that period of time. Yeah. You know? The difference between us and Tottenham is that we were eager to win another trophy. Yeah, and they weren't. Uh, how? <laughs> the last six years to be possible with some group, you know? Um, yeah. But now, yes. Now I'll talk your group. I know, yeah. Oh, I'll talk Like yeah. I told you, yeah. I believe, in my opinion, this season, mm. my target would be we get the Europa League okay. and we finish third. FA, let's get to the semis or the finals. Even if we lose, sour, sour. Yeah. if we win it, a bonus. Well and good. But Europa League, yeah. we have to show guys that we're back in Europe with yeah. a bang. We're just not only qualifying third in the Premier League, mm. but we're actually banging in Europa League trophies. Yes. Yeah. I mean, what are the prospects? Or imagine the prospect of you guys winning a treble. Yeah. You winning the Europa League, winning the FA Cup, and winning the Carabao Cup. You to the future, happy. Well, again, here's the thing. And I told you yesterday. Yeah. The only reason why I hope to the feature or you tied is because I need you to win the Premier League. Oh, yeah. If you do not win the Premier League, then I will hide. Wah, bah, bah, then I will hide a good one. Bah, 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 bah. Yeah. Yeah. I know we're not changing from Manchester United to Arsenal, yeah. but just for a minute. Eh. The, if you don't win, but eh. I have never wanted to be under pressure the way Arsenal are right now. Yeah? Yes. Good stuff. I mean, tell me, tell. so a trouble for you would be fantastic. <laughs> yeah, it would, it would be, but, yeah. you know, realistically, if I can get the Europa League, finish third, mm. and have a final at Wembley, good season. at the FA Cup, a very good season. season yeah. Very good season, especially considering how you started. All right. So let's look at the games that uh, were played over the weekend. Yeah. That, of course, the previous match day, mm. 29 or something. Mm. One, Spurs. Let's start off with Spurs. Let's just get down with shit. Mafema. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. We just get down in the street, but they were playing at uh, uh, St. Mary's mm-hmm. uh, against uh, Southampton. We were winning 3 1, I think, with is it eight minutes okay, well. or 10 minutes to go, or 15 minutes mm. or thereabouts, only for them to guard them draw 3 3 against the bottom most team in the Premier League. And Conte got a meltdown. He could not help himself and he came out guns blazing. I don't blame him, to be honest. Yeah? I really don't because mm. how we three up. Yeah, three one. Three one up. Yeah, yeah. Just three that one should up, yeah? be by the stature of the club. Should and be enough. In in your mentality, and that's what I was talking. I was telling you on radio the other day. Mm. The mentality of the players, the mentality of the coaching staff. Yeah. We are three one up. Let's defend. Yes. We are. These are three points. We, yeah. Giving us top four, solidifying us in top four. Yes. Why would our mentality change? Mm. Why would we be laxative? about defending yeah why would we be you know conservative because you know defend for your life it's three Banner. one complacency complacency is in the that word. team yes i mean when you f- consider the fact that teams like brighton mm. they have is it three games in hand yes teams like newcastle have two games in hand as in it's fast all of a sudden they're they're thinking they're secure they're not really secure 
you look at the you look at the last the, the penalty mm. brought in the penalty you you're thinking to the def- to what was his name again the the midfielder who james the, no 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 no, mm. no no the midfielder who caused it is is it sir i think he's called sir he's in Tottenham. Coast pass yeah yeah, yeah, yeah okay yeah, uh-huh. there was no need for to go for after that ball yeah let it let let the let the so the the Southampton guy get the ball he was at the edge of the d just let him get the ball by the time he'll turn you know just block him or something yeah. you know guys are falling no, back yeah. there, there was no need for that yes you get mm. um secondly the mentality of the players when wh- once they went three two mm. there was no urgency none there was no urgency whatsoever mm. and that worried me because at the top end of the pitch harry kane is banging in goals for like, you guys yeah this guy is guaranteeing you at least a goal per game yes or two goals per game yes fucking hell man support and him yeah they can do anything but support Harry Kane. And, and all of a sudden now Spurs, they're not even sure if they're going to fire Conte because there's still no word on whether he's going home or he, not. He, here's the thing. Here's my take on this. First yeah. of all, Conte was right to have a meltdown. Okay. He should have had it in the dressing room. Mm-hmm. So, okay. Have it in the dressing room. No death. Then, then, when, you right come, then when you come to the press, mm. tell the truth. My boys did not do well. Yeah. We considered silly goals. Mm. We considered a silly penalty. We will work on these things. Yes. But obviously, we are sorry to the fans yes. and to the Tottenham family. Mm. Done. This other meltdown. Where can we go for dressing room? Yes, dressing room. It's possible that he did not have that in the dressing room. He came to have it in front of the cameras. That, or he had both. That's the thing. You are the dressing room leader. You are the manager. Yes. I mean, we have seen Ateta mm. having a meltdown in the dressing room. Yes. Okay. But never in front we of the camera. We have seen Mourinho mm. having a meltdown to the players in the dressing room. Mm. That time Son and um, Hugo Lloris wanted to fight. Mm. You know, all that was settled in the dressing room. Yeah, It's man management. But if you come in front of the press, the press just wants to finish you mm. in terms of what you're going to say. Yeah. They'll use anything you've said against you. Because that's fodder for them. Exactly. Yeah. So you, you sit down as Daniel Levy and you ask yourself, do I fire Conte because he had an outburst? Yeah. Then you look at the table. Then you look at the remaining fixtures, mm. close to 10 fixtures. Yes. I wouldn't risk it. I wouldn't risk it on the basis of destabilizing the team. Yeah, the whole I would system. rather yeah. say this, okay, Conte, mm. do you still want to manage Tottenham? No, I'm not feeling managing the Tottenham. Yeah. Okay, then your assistant manager and Ryan Mason will take care of the games till the end of the season. But you remain a character. You remain a face. Mm in the club till the end of the season yeah that's the thing but if you're not taking care of the games why should we be paying you then you should just See, that's leave. the thing i'm i'm, I'm saying mm. he should advise okay okay he's advised the the assistant manager and ryan mason mm. how this week we should play mm. let him be in the in, in the let him be in the training area mm. correct but if he doesn't want to feel to be in the dugout you know wow. he, ha- he has an he has an he has an alibi he, you know, he, he's sick. He's sick. Oh, he can use that. Yeah, he has another can use that. That'll because be, right yeah. now, if you say, you fire, to, you, you, you tell Conte go, mm. and you pay him the last three months, mm. Tonte, Tonte, uh, sorry, Conte will go with his assistant manager. Yes. And part of the backroom staff. Mm. Let Ryan start. Mason, Pekiake, not a back. Yes. So, Ryan Mason remains, correct? Mm. Then you have to go through the notion of getting backroom staff, a goalkeeping coach, mm. physiotherapy. All these people, yeah, so it, it's quite hard to get them, it is, you know, with it ten is, games it is, to it go. Is, it is. Mm. So, do you risk telling him to go, yeah, or do you let him stay for the sake of the backroom stuff that you're going to use to yeah. finish the season mm. and have a conversation with him? Yeah, tell him, you know what, fine, you are angry, we don't need to do this anymore. Uh, so, let us finish the next three months. So, do your bit, mm. and you go. It's going to be interesting for Tottenham. I mean, because that's a proper catch-22. Mm? I mean, Tofu Wakonayo, yes. And they maybe might eventually bag it. Mm-hmm. But if you fire Conte, the chances of getting Tofu goes even lower. Because here's the thing. If you're going to fire Conte, you bring in, for example, uh, Nagelsmann or Pochettino. Yeah. You know, that is a whole tactic you're going to rub off. Mm. That these guys have been playing the whole season. 
And in 10 games, you need to teach them your new tactics. And adapt to them and, and expect adapt them to, to get top four. Nagelsmann's tactics are very different from, from uh, Contest. From, from Contest. Yeah, yeah. Pochettino is different from Contest. Yeah. I mean, Ryan Mason, for heaven's sake, is different Might be very from different. Yeah. Look, Ryan Mason, if I told someone from Tottenham is watching this, don't you freaking dare think you're like Ateta. You know he's a former Spurs player. <laughs> 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 you might be thinking, yeah, there's a pool of uh, an Ateta. But you see, that's the other thing. Yeah. Tim Sherwood, the other day, said former Tottenham manager, mm. he's like, um, if they give it to Ryan Mason, mm. Then what we would happen is if you need any assistance from me mm. as um, Tim Sherwood, I'll be happy yeah. to bring in some assistance. Now you see, if now it's oh, Tim Sherwood yeah. and Ryan Mason, they can balance that oh, team yeah, out. Yeah. Again, Tim Sherwood is the one who introduced Harry Kane to his first um, you know, it was team. Him. Yeah, yeah, it was him. Oh, yeah. before they brought in Pochettino. Yeah, yeah, it was oh, interesting. It was Tim, uh, Tim Sherwood ah. who gave him his first start as a senior player yeah. at the Tottenham. The Tottenham. It's the history of the Tottenham. <laughs> Bosley was what they do. I saw a picture, I don't know if you saw it, Conte yeah. and Mourinho talking to each other and Mourinho was telling Conte, yeah. man, it's only at Spurs where they pay you to come in and then they pay you to leave. And in between you have to do, you don't do anything, you don't win any trophies. It's incredible. Can you imagine the buyout, uh, the buyout to his three-month contract? Yeah. Alone. And the buyout, uh, buy, buy, buy and I've already done it. Yeah, they have, they have. I mean, I'm imagining Conte must have been on a huge wage or something. Huge yeah. wage. He's paying him out is going to cost him. He's cool and good. So, you yeah. know, if it's ending at the end of the season. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, he's cool and oh, yeah, good. Yeah. So, do you pay him for the for the three months when you tell him to go? Vamos. Or you ah. keep him and make sure that, you know what, finish the, the season yeah. and keep us at top four. If they are poor and loving what's going on at first, besides Arsenal fans, has to be, the, like we said, Newcastle, yeah. Liverpool, Nakina Brighton. United. Especially Manchester United. Were they a threat ever? Well, we had 50 points. We had 50 oh, points. No. We had 49. Oh, yeah. So oh, yeah. Any disabi- any, any, anything destabilizing them. That is very much yeah, welcome. It's, it's welcome to Manchester ah, United. Nice. Yeah, Correct. I totally agree. Mm. Another thing that is welcome is what's happening at Chelsea. I mean, Chelsea, you know, they have been the door drums. They're moving from 10th to 10th. To 10th. Uh, from to 10th. Winning three games in a row, just moving from 10th to 10th to 10th. Uh, uh, we, we love to see that. And uh, they could not win again against Everton at Stamford Bridge. At some point in time, they were two one up. They could not hold it down. Yeah, we go back to the idea of mentality because, this, first of all, you have a thirty-two man squad. Mm. You have out of the thirty-two, at least twenty-two or twenty-three are top class. Yes, top class players. Mm. Okay, that you can bring in. Mm. Um, Potter has a has an idea, and and why I say Potter has an idea. Yeah, it, those three wins. You could see his idea coming out. You could see the portable that he's been, you know, asking for mm. from these players. But again, are you concentrated enough? Are you mentally there mm. as a Chelsea player? Do you know if last week you were picked, this week you'll be picked? Yeah. You don't know. No sure. So to. that's the other thing. Yeah. Can you name a, first, a starting eleven right now for Chelsea? Except uh, except Kai Havertz mm. and maybe uh, and maybe the goalkeeper as you Balaga. Oh yeah. Who else? Oof. Maybe Enzo. And Enzo, obviously, yeah, yeah, 100 yeah. Mil, 105 mil. Yeah, that has to be there. So you look at Harvard, you look at Enzo, and you look at the keeper. Mm. No, well, that's it. That's and, it. And, no, no, no. And also you look at either Thiago or Koulibaly. Or Koulibaly. So you have, a, you have a spine of the team. There's a spine. Now that they're getting more now, game time. Now look, now look at the other team, the other team members. Chilwell is getting Chilwell a bit more back. game time now. Chris James is back. Yeah. yeah. But again, I'll ask any Chelsea fan, give me your first 11 yeah. that... Potter can trust right now that uh, that can start for like five games in a row. Exactly. If this was the same Chelsea yeah. that had bought close to top players in mm. the beginning of the season yeah. when they're still doing their friendlies, sour. Mm. You bought 12, 13 players in between a season. Yeah. You know. So it's that's it's, that's it's, that's it's crazy. Going to be a problem. It's going to be a problem. In January. So, you know. Yeah. And don't forget, by the uh, come summer, the the mandem from uh, Belgium is going back. He's coming back. He's coming back. To, so uh, how many strikers are those? Lukaku, Aubameyang, uh, uh, Broja, Broja, Fofana. Fofana, four strikers. Mm. I don't know who they are going to say. Most and Harvard's bad at Ayaka Waterbench. <laughs> I'm telling you, whatever is going on at Chelsea, we are fucking loving it. But they should strive to get a bit higher up on the table. You know, I change the conference. That's the thing. <laughs> As in, you know, just somewhere European football. It's always very much welcome. Because if you think about it, Everton are fighting for their lives, man. Yes. Everton don't get relegated. No, they don't. So they are, they're facing FFP. You know, uh, 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 charges, and charges stuff. right now. Yeah. So they will go. They, they will go to Stamford Bridge, or they would welcome Chelsea to Goodison Park, and they will pick points. Yeah. But Chelsea, Chelsea, 
it's all a mentality thing. It's a mentality issue. I mean, they have so many and, and young and guys. I think, and I think if they can bring in, uh, if they can bring in a, a sports, a sports, a, a sports therapist in terms of just understanding mm. the mentality of the players, mm. then go to the manager and say, "Here's the thing. This is their mental state." Yeah. So mm. everyone here is scared they won't start the next game. Mm. Some are scared that Otaba could bench. When when was the last time Aubameyang started? A while back. When was the last time he he, he was brought in? As a sub, at exactly. some time planning when they are getting beat, uh, they are getting beat. This guy will form clicks yeah. in the Chelsea dressing room. Yep. Who are Toxic. against Porter? Toxic, Toxic clicks. Yeah. So right now it's not only man management but also the mentality mm. that has to be worked on. If it is not checked on, a Chelsea might. Be. They will stay tenth. Yeah. They Tower. will stay tenth. They will stay tenth. And I know most Chelsea fans most likely want them to stay tenth so they can avoid uh, any European commitment le- next season. You know, does it not guarantee anything. Does not guarantee. Does not guarantee anything. Next thing you win three more games, you're in the Europa League slots. Oh yeah. Mm. I can't wait to see them in Conference League though. But that's the other thing. Even before we move to the next point, mm. you think you think um, uh, Brentford will just sit down? Absolutely you not. You think and Fulham this, will just sit down? This is what I hate. I, I feel those, like those two clubs. They will not. And then Liverpool. Those three clubs. Yeah. I feel like Chelsea will actually eventually miss out on any European football. I don't like it though. But do you know if they miss on any European football next season, they have every chance to win the Premier League next season. Well, they better because you just you're just in for three competitions, yeah, yeah, yeah. two cups, yeah, and the trophy. Yeah, I mean if 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 Graham Potter gets his shit correct and gets a proper starting eleven, then you can say maybe next season they'll be contending for something. They will. They will. Depending on the quality that they have they as will, players. They will, they will. Uh, speaking of guys who previously didn't seem that they were contending for anything till mm-hmm. they started contending for the league, mm-hmm. talking about Arsenal. <laughs> we, are, we, are, we are playing the for Arsenal. The Arsenal, the mighty Arsenal, the uh-huh. great one. Uh-huh. Up against Crystal Palace just after they fired Vieira. Let's not even talk about Arsenal much, but Crystal Palace. Uh-huh. They seem like they are right in the mix. No, they don't seem. They are right in the relegation mix. And they just hired uh, Hodgson. Roy. Hodgson. Roy. Here's the thing. He's been with them before before they went to uh, almost in uh, relegation. If you look at where Crystal Palace are, mm. Crystal Palace are top or 11th, I believe. I, I think they are lower. No, no, no. They could be lower. Last I checked, before they played against Arsenal, they were 12th. They were 12th. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So, mm. at that point, you're 12th. Mm. All right? Mm. Um, you have faced most of the top six. Yes. So, uh, you've lost some, you've won some. None. None. 23. It's fine. Mm. Top six teams. Mm. So, so, uh, mm-hmm. But you still hold your ground as your top expectation was top half. So yes. 10 quinta ju. Yes. But turbulent season, mm. obviously, I don't think 12th is a failure for Crystal Palace. Mm-hmm. Neither is 11th. It's not. So for Vieira, he's been doing a bang on job. Yes, he hasn't get, been getting the winnings, mm. but Crystal Palace have been constant. It's either 10th, 11th, 12th, 10th, 11th, 12th. Mm. So, so are you going to reinvest as, as, as Parish, the owner of Crystal Palace? You fired Vieira. Yes. You've gotten Roy Hodgson till the end of the season. Yeah. Are you going to guarantee when the season begins you'll get a new manager and you'll give him money to spend? Vieira was working with, with what he had. Well, you see, Vieira had not won any game in 2023. But again, he hadn't won any game in 2023. Yes. But still 11 or 12. Yeah. But how long can you sustain that though without winning anything? And well, that's the thing. You put that's the thing. You mm. put your trust in the manager and tell the manager, fine, yeah. we've had a bad season. Just let's not get relegated. Yes. And I don't think Crystal Palace were in a position where they were going to get relegated. Or mm. was banging in goals. I mean, Wilfred Zaha is at least is getting his form back. I but can't no talk goals. the same about Jordan Ayu or mm. Mateta yeah. or um, or uh, Edward. I can't mm. talk say the same. Yes. No, Will Hughes was coming back to the squad. Mm. So I, I don't think they're in a uh, in a very bad place. But I think sometimes if it was if it mm. was Everton, if it was Southampton, if mm. it was Wolves. But would you wait till you get to number 17, then you fire the coach? Or you'd want now, okay, who coach to Mempia? Is it uh, how many months into January? Into 2023? Three months. Mm-hmm. To Mempia, three months, no wins yet. Do you want to wait till you drop to 17 so that you can fire? Or do you fire early and try to salvage that? Try to get yourself not going to actual doldrums of the relegation? That's fine. You Obviously, you'd want to change managers earlier. Yes. But how desperate are you? To get as a Roy. club to go back to a former manager who had declared that he has retired. Yeah. That if that is not a middle finger to Vieira, I don't yeah. know what that is. That's and to the fans. One. Yeah. Yeah, that's a middle that's finger. I mean, how do you Vieira? Ah, come on. This guy for, Hodgson is already done and dusted. He, he, fine, he'll come back. He'll go back to his native system of four four two. Yeah. Okay. He will 
he would, I can even pick that team for you. Zaha will be in front. Mm. Either are you or, or Mateta. Mateta. <laughs> you, you already know. It's, yeah. it's not like they have so many options. Yeah. Olise on one side, Eze on the other side. Mm. In the middle, we have Milejovic and uh, maybe Chick Dikore or uh, your yeah. Lokonga dude. Mm. Oh, Lokonga. Yeah. 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 Okay. And then you go at the back. Yeah. You'll have um, Nathaniel Klein. You'd have uh, Riddleveld, maybe he can be played as a defender. Mm. You'll have the Swede, the, the, the Danish guy, I've forgotten his name. And Edith, then, no, uh, Anderson. Jo- Johansson or An- Anderson, yeah, Anderson. correct. Yeah. Correct, correct. Mm. And then left back, you'll have Tarek Mitchell. Yeah. And then goalkeeping, you'll have uh, Guaita. Guaita. Mm. Is he still in Asia? I mean, I mean, maybe they're hoping on banking. Can you, can you imagine we have named the first 11 of Crystal Palace, but we can't name the first 11 of Chelsea? For Chelsea. It's not consistent enough. Wow. You like it like that. You like, <laughs> it like that. you like it like that. So Spurs, I mean Palace, maybe they'll be hoping mm-hmm. they're gonna be like a new manager bounce. This is the this guy, guy who they have done that before, trying to get them out of relegation. This guy has been brought in for one thing, according to the board. Mm. We stay in the league. In the Premier League. That means if you can get seventy seven draws, you just get your draws. We yeah. stay in Bora Tukai. Bora Tukai. What position is, is Crystal Palace? Let me just check right now. The good thing is check. that we we're here, we're live. Yeah. We're doing it. Check to wonder like just how terrible are they? I don't think they're that bad. I they dropped to they must be like fourteenth now. Nah, let me check. No, they're not that bad. Because the relegation battle is fierce. It's fierce. Season. From thirteenth yeah. to twentieth. It was actually Aye. from twelfth. 20th, we have points tano with 10 games to go. That, that is why they fired Vieira. Yeah. Because they thought Manze, this guy can lose two five games, bro. Not to go. Two, two games to yeah. go down. Yeah. You know, ask. <laughs> and Southampton, you know, they are winning, they're trying to get themselves back, but still they are 20th. Yeah. They are not climbing up, bro. That's the thing. I mean, drawing against Chelsea, I mean, winning Crystal against Chelsea. Crystal Palace are 12th with 27. They're still 12th. Yeah, they're with 27 points. Aston Villa are the only team here that are safe. Aston Villa have 38 points. 11th. 11th. The next team is Crystal Palace on 27. Now, listen to this. Wolves 27. Uh-huh. Leeds 26. Everton 26. Nottingham Forest 26. Leicester 25. West Ham United 24. Bournemouth 24. Southampton 23. Southampton can get Bro. a win and they jump all the way to 12. There's four points between number 20 and number 12. Correct. Four points. <laughs> you love to see points. it. So, my so you fire this is a nine team. You fire Vieira at this juncture. Yeah. So you can pick all the draws you want, but if this guy starts picking wins, yeah, it's 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 a wrap. Because if, if but Aston Villa is safe, it's four points between them and number twenty. Yes, correct. One more loss, maybe they drop three points. That's a point. Yeah, maybe that's why they could not wait. But now we we, we, we were wait. talking about our man them Chelsea. Mm-hmm. Chelsea are thirty eight points at tenth. Aston Villa the same difference is just goal difference. Goal difference. The Kiake. Ah, put it up to that. Todd Bolly boy. Yeah. Brent, Brentford. Oh yeah, we forgot about Brighton. So those teams that we were talking about, mm. before even Chelsea can even sniff top five. Yeah. They need how many points? Nine points to get to number five where Newcastle are. Those are three games when these others are not winning. And how is that even possible? Very impossible. Very impossible. It'll never happen. Yeah. So Chelsea had a conference league apart next season, by the way. It's not European football for them. Damn. All right. So that's the relegation fight. Of course, it's getting they very just have, If they want to play Europe, mm. what do they need to do? <laughs> Win the Champions League. Beat Real Madrid. Beat Real Madrid. And <laughs> I don't know, maybe beat Bayern in the final. <laughs> well, they say it's, a, it's not something they have not done before. Have they beaten Real Madrid? I, 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 when I they got to the recall. final, Olympic and Semi. I can't recall. All I know is that uh, that team by Di Matteo mm. was a really solid team. No, this this previous one, Thomas Tuko. Oh, Thomas Tuko. Mm. I'll be the semis. PSG, I'll be chapa. I'll mm-hmm. chapa PSG. Oh, you can get for you a bigger city. A bigger city, yes. I remember PSG because those are photos that I do. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. So I mean, Chelsea, if you want to play Champions League football, my European football next season, you have to. You have to beat Real Madrid and ba- and uh, Bayern maybe Madrid. Bayern mm. in the. Wait, Real is the quarters. Yeah, Real is. Yeah, then go to the semis. Then go to the semis. Oh boy. So you have two games. You have to win the next two games yeah. to guarantee you a final. Yeah. 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 There you go. That's there for sure. There I you can't go. do it. Like I said before, Chelsea are in the Champions League to get knocked out. <laughs> <laughs> they qualified for the quarters to get knocked out. All right. So there was that in the league football. Then mm-hmm. we had, of course, the FA Cup, mm-hmm. which we had a uh, recent company going back to his teacher at Etihad. Got clapped a good one. That's not even clapping, man. Bro. That is just telling you the golfing yes yeah. between Burnley and City. Not even City and the Premier League. 
and the Premier League. Yes. What he said is that we are number 21 mm. out of, we are, we are number 21. The other 20 teams are in the Premier League. Yeah. Us guys, we are 21, which means we are number one in the championship. Mm. The golfing class is what they mm. were taught at the eight years. Yeah. Six nil. And this is by the current champions. I remember your joke. Mm. Now, if Arsenal win and they face them next season, uh, they will tap for more. Yeah, I remember that joke. Because that was that, <laughs> that was essentially the second top team in the Premier League. Don't think about it. Imagine the top most team to have any. Uh, top two, two, one. Might Lux. be a double. <laughs> might, be a, might be ten nil. Some, you know, you never know. So there was that. Then of course the Six one mil, yes. that was very dramatic in terms of everything that happened. United mm. conceding first. Then the hand by uh, by William. William, of course, that's a penalty and a record straight. That that, that we had already seen. Then anything that happened after that, yeah, is pure weed. Guys were high on something. What is that? Mitrovic. I think he had the LSD in him. That was... Pure LSD. What was he contending to start with? Why were you shoving the ref? And I contend the red card. She died. She died. She died. She died. As in, this is a professional footballer. What was he contending against? And when he was going towards the ref? And that's the thing. He might cost Fulham a chance in European football. Yeah. Because now, that, that ban might be elevated six, to... six, seven matches. Yeah, it could be. Not to Baksha games, Kumi. So, as like they you're coming back, yeah. they tell you're coming back, there's nothing much yeah. you can do to save them. Many shark up size. It is unfortunate that players of this generation and where footballers come from, they still have that barbaric mm. sort of mentality. Because that was barbaric from Mitrovic. Yeah, to attack the, the ref. Yeah. I mean, the best you can do is say something to him that he will be happy Bana. about. But now, on his being case, physical... Like, he just wanted to and that's the other thing. William has just gotten a red card. Yeah. What do you do? You move on. Yes. You don't get stuck in. Now you and are then the third red card. You see the weird thing? You are at Old Trafford to start with. Yes. You're one nil up. Sour. Yeah. People are on equalizer. Yeah. So one one, but you're one man down. Seriously, you're going to be acting like that, thinking you're not going to get a red card to make this team nine men against Manchester United at Old Trafford. I think even for me, the worst was not even Mitrovic. It was his manager, Marco Silva. What the fuck did he even do? So... If your players, and I haven't, I haven't, we haven't gone to check it properly, but mm. it, get, it goes back to man management and leadership. If you have had two players sent off, or even one player sent off mm. as a manager, galvanize the team. What are you behaving See like? See a meltdown, home, like the guys who are on the pitch, crazy stuff. So meltdown, of course, led to Fulham getting clapped. You guys won three one. Mm -hmm. Up against Brighton now. Can you tell us how Brighton are going to win the FA Cup this season? <laughs> <laughs> so Brighton have clapped us twice this season. Yes. That is that, a, that's uh, where in the league, yeah? in the one in the league, oh, and one. Where is the other one? Because we have a return, we still have to play them. So again. it's once. No, they have clapped us twice. Because the Cabo Cup, you want, so it can't be that. No, 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 no. no. The no, FA Cup no, can't be that. It can't be that. So they have clapped us once. Uh, yeah, could actually go once. Once, yeah. once, no? This is a merchant fund. It's once. It's once. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it's once. So at Old Trafford. At Old Trafford. Yeah. yeah. Maybe so in Juni home in a field cut twice. Oh, yes. Yeah, last season. That's what I'm remembering. Yeah, Sorry. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So here's the thing. Yes. Brighton, they're going to they're going to bring their game to us. Of course. This is a different United. This is a galvanized United. This is mm. a United that, yes, it's not at its peak powers. It's not pound for pound the best team in the Premier League. Yes. Okay. Yes. But what this United team has, has heart. Mm. What Ten Hag has brought to this team is confidence. Mm. Nothing else. I'm not even going to talk about the theatrics of the tactics. Nini, no. Confidence. Mm. Look at Jaden Sancho. Man, he was in rehab. Yeah. You come back, manager's like, hey, you're done with rehab, man. Mm. Come and play football. Yeah. Look at the likes of Elanga. Come and play football. Elanga, not Elanga. Yeah, he plays. He does. He does. He does. does he? Yes, as Can a sub, sometimes he starts. So, he's a guy who sat down and told the team, mm. none is more important than the other. Mm. Case in point, Cristiano Ronaldo. Yes. Chapa lap. Mm. Kina Pogba. Chapeni lap. All these people go. You want to play for this club? You work hard and you do it. Mm. And that is pure confidence. Look what he's done to Rashford. Rashford is like Benzema when, again, Cristiano left Real Madrid. Oh, yeah. Yes. What, what a what coincidence. A coincidence. Yeah. yeah. Look at him right now. Yeah. He's banging in goals from all over the place. Yeah. Look at the presence of Casemiro. Mm. What he's done to the team. People said, you know, 60 mil for a 30 year old. Yeah. I'll be honest, I was among those people who were ridiculing that mm -hmm. and making fun of you guys getting a 60. Uh, getting 60 m for 30 year old exactly. is he 30 or 31 he's not 31 31 30 year old lisandro you said yeah you, you called him what butcher 
Bilbo Baggins ni kaya Zakayo. 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 Look at Lisandro. <laughs> no, no one, Lisandro, no one even believed yeah. that this guy can defend. Look at, he's a bloody lion. He's, he's a he's, short lion he's who's a just, he's a sure. bulldozer. Yeah. You know, Pastor Fred. Look at what Pastor Fred has done. We've seen become. a different side of Fred this season. Exactly. You know, well. Fucking Snake sucks. Well. sucks. It's even weird that Bruno, yeah, 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 Bruno has his moments. Yes. But, I mean, the squad is confident. The mm. squad knows that he can go to any team right now. Yeah. In the Premier League or even in Europe and get goals. There you go. Yeah. That's that's all you want. And then the most controversial signing is their cost. Vegas? And it's working for this. Yeah, I've got to be honest, man. I was very excited when you signed Vegas because uh-huh. I knew he was going to ghost in games. <laughs> and I knew United had just fucked. How do you get a guy from Besiktas, surely? Not even Besiktas. He's already, before that, he was where? Burnley. Burnley that He's was. on loan from Burnley at Besiktas. And we had to pay Besiktas. You had to pay Burnley. And also Besiktas. You paid Besiktas? Besiktas. Yes, yeah, because Jesus. now if you're taking a player from them. It's like, oh, chief, now to go to a point. Okay, so to be playing. Yeah, yeah, so to be playing. Two clubs to get a player called Vegas to come ghost in games, and then you actually win a cup. Ah, such but a... You, re- you remember what I told you about Vegas' mm. um, responsibility in that team? He's just a target man. Yeah. So he holds up the ball, he lets the likes of Rashford, the likes of Sancho, the likes of uh, Bruno, when Bruno they on the wings. Anthony, yeah. to come in, to bring mm. in the play. Mm. And once in a while, He's also involved in the set pieces just to destabilize the defenders. Yeah. 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 He's only scored one goal. Yeah. That's why I was going to go up by the one. It's good to let him, these other guys come and score because him, he can't score. <laughs> 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 but yeah. everything else is doing good. But you see, that's the thing. He goes yeah. back to Burnley next season. Yeah. Which he comes back in the, the Premier League. Have you thought about it? Oh my he God. Comes back yeah. As potentially, not, on, not potentially, a Carabao Cup winner, potentially a, a European team. winner. Potentially an FA Cup winner. Fuck. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now the problem is he'll go back to Burnley and he'll think, what Apa, will I get game yeah, From Europe to Carabao yeah, Cup. He'll be like, eh, will I get game to yeah. Hey, Ten Hag, so you take me again on load. In a car, car, these big clubs, they start Carabao Cup, I think, is it fourth round? Yes, 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 yes. Uh, I think he had the first round. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Second what, time you catch a play. Le, what about Zilla's AFA? Yeah, hey, AFA. Yeah, hey. AFA will not have a non-league football. Banner. Because easy teams are going to from January. Oh, that's yeah. Correct. Yeah. So it's yeah. going to be a huge. So for Manchester United, like yeah. I said, it's confidence that Ten Hag has brought. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. I mean, it's very hard to argue against that. Same thing, Eddie yeah. Howe. Confidence. Yeah, for Liverpool or mean, Newcastle. You remember that time we, uh, That time they were raving that, um, what's his name again? Almiron is better than who? Grealish. And then mm, it came back. Really? So Almiron and Merudi Ten Hag belong to you. Kula uh, humble pie. But Isak, I mean yeah. Isak is Isaac starting is on all cylinders. Yeah. But they still they now need in this in this um in this in, in the summer mm. they need to be build Newcastle. I'm talking about FIFA 22, 23 rebuild. Kinda rebuild, yeah. You start a whole team because that team fine I've gotten like, you to fourth. Yeah. But if you're going to go into Europe, Dan first ba- thing uh, Dan Dan Burn is not Europe. Dan Burn is, Burn is not uh so definitely Carlo Wilson is not. They need to get rid of that man uh, then. They need to uh, the midfield also besides Nad- Bruno. Uh, yeah, besides Bruno, Joe Willock. Yeah, yeah. Right. The, the brothers are called what? The two brothers who are there? Murphy. Uh, no, 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 no. Hey. Longstaff. Longstaff. Uh, Sean. Uh, who is the other one? Sean Longstaff. I can't recall that one. Yes. Yeah. Those ones. Uh, nah, they need to leave. They need to leave. Goalkeeping uh, position. Nick Pope is okay. Nick Pope and Dubravka. D- D- they are they are Defense. captain. That captain no one is No, no. Is it? Lassell. Oh, Jamal Lassell. Jamal Lassell is not uh, up to it. Fucking you, man. He can't carry jo- jo Linton. Oh, Joe Linton is a Kako bench. So that, now, yeah. that team is your, is your bench team. That team is your rotation team. Yeah, very few players. You need that to buy another yeah. seven players. Yes. Quality. So you're in Europe. Mm. Mm. I put a bit of a figure in. It's going to be interesting for sure. To and Declan Rice is a Kopa. And Declan Rice will be cheaper. That, oh, no, he's going you, there, though. No. De- Declan is the. Uh, Chief, you guys are finishing 19th. And your castle are going to no. play Champions League. Declan is wanted by the league. Oh, you guys? Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay, so, so it will be a bidding war. Yeah, no, just 70 M and we are good. Yeah, these guys will give 80. I'm these sure guys have more money than sure you. Sure there you go. Yeah, uh-huh. But yeah, so Declan is going to Arsenal, most likely to Arsenal. Because it was either Arsenal, Chelsea, and Chelsea, I mean, being 10. Uh, Chelsea have more midfielders than even yeah. our bench. Exactly. Yeah, so, yeah. not going to happen. Mm. All right. 
Now, moving on from that, that was the Premier League. Let's move on to things that have happened after that game week. Yeah, quite a few news bits that have dropped. Mm-hmm. One of them being the firing of Nagelsmann at Bayern Munchen after getting them to the quarterfinals of he the, has the Champions League. He has played. He has played eight games in the Champions League and yeah. won eight. All of them. How do you get fired? At so what the fuck is going on there, Joe? And because he was, and he, they because they're, they're, they're just second. One it's point fine. below. You, you've been winning for the last ten years. Yeah. Just it's okay to have a blip. And you won the Bundesliga last season. There you go. Okay, he got knocked out from the Champions League a bit early. But you, you, you've heard what speculations are. Mm. They, they appointed Tuchel because they knew, you know, the Chelsea story can can come and haunt them. Which so one? he knows a hey, Chelsea beat Real Madrid for some weird reason. Uh, and then, and then they buy him. Yeah. So Tuchel can ah, eliminate them. Chop, 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 chop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or also Tuchel mm. knows how to eliminate Real Madrid because he did it with yeah. Chelsea. With Chelsea. Yeah. No, 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 he didn't. No. Oh, when he won. When, when Chelsea won the Champions League, how big Madrid? I think it was Madrid. Uh, I'm no, okay, it was okay, City. It was City. No, in the final it was City. Yes. In the semis, who was it? In the quarters? Happened for well, we, we will City check on that. Movie. But yeah, I, I mean, but again, yeah. Nagelsmann, what a week. Um, you're with your chick yeah. on holiday. Mm. You hear rumors you're getting fired. Yes. You fly back to Munich. To officially get fired. To get fired. Yes. Uh, hours later, your chick leaves you. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And you don't have a job and a chick. And you're being linked with Spurs. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Yeah. That's uh, almost rock bottom uh, epitome of rock bottom, That's right? That's Sunday there. morning after a club and you're being lucky. No one is having a worse weekend than Nuggets, man, I'm sure of it. So here's the thing. All of a sudden, <laughs> mm. Tottenham, and this is the funniest thing, and mm. I want you guys to listen to this. All of a sudden, Tottenham were not linked to any manager in Germany. Mm. But as soon as a chap is fired, you link the guy who's fired. Tottenham, seriously. I mean, first of all, I don't even think Nagel's man. Okay, maybe he might go to No, he, was, he said he's open to conversations. And especially coaching in England. Mm. So maybe he might go to Spurs, but damn. But remember, um, when was it? Um, last season, mm. Conte was given 192 million pounds. Oof, to sign? To players. 192 million pounds. He spent, sorry, 192 million oh, yeah. pounds since he's yeah. been mm. in Spurs. Mm. The highest, even uh, more than Porsche. More Porsche, than Mourinho? More than Mourinho, 192. So Nagelsmann coming in with the quality and the pedigree he's used to at uh, Bayern Munich, yeah. uh, he loved demands. Yeah, for sure. Daniel Levy, do you know how much money that guy is making off the Tottenham Stadium? But a crazy money. Hosting NFL, hosting shows, and hosting concerts, and everything, everything else. Yes, I mean, but not winning any trophies. Not winning any trophies. That's why he draws the line. <laughs> 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 no, after the Audi Cup. Yeah, that's why he draws the line. Dan, I was yeah. seeing somewhere uh, a stat <laughs> showing Hurricane, I think, at 24, mm-hmm. and Hurricane at, which was it? Is it at 24? Mm. And Hurricane now. Now at 29. Yeah, he had played four games for England. No, no, he had scored four games, four mm-hmm. goals for England. Now he has 54. He had scored, is it, 40 goals for Spurs. Now he has 206. And in all that, he had zero trophies. No trophies. Now he has one Audi Cup. He just had an Audi Cup. An Audi Cup. You can't, you can't, you, he cannot sit down one on one table and talk to Alan No. Alan Shiro, no, no, no. I, I feel experience. like... Jimmy Greaves is yeah. like, Sawa, you broke my record. Yeah. Okay, fine, then done him. Wayne Rooney. Oh, where are the medals? Wayne Rooney would be like, where are the medals, man? No medals. At least, okay, Rooney does not have any medals for England. And these are just hurricanes, so that's the only place well, where you they can, you know, argue. But yeah. in the league, he has medals. Oh, he has medals. Plenty. 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 So I the feel conversation like, is there. I feel like Nagel's man first demand, if he goes to Spurs, of which I hope he doesn't, mm-hmm. might be telling uh, Spurs, keep Harry Kane. Harry Kane will go to the office and say, fine, you want me to stay? Mm. What signings are you giving me? Mm-hmm. You, I cannot be playing with Kina Davidson Sanchez. It, they are no defenders. No. Who yeah, like Hugo Loris right now. Yeah, I mean after that injury, let's just yeah. he'll be a squad keeper. Yeah, can we get in a world class keeper? Mm. Sawa, on my on my left, yes I have Son. On my right, have we settled with Richarlison Kulusevsky. or Kulusevsky? Mm. What what's happening? Yeah. on my right, mm. behind me, what's my midfield? What happens? What's like my so midfield? Can be Suma? Well, there's Bisuma, Oibieg. Oibieg. but you see again, what Tim Sherwood was saying the other day, and I was listening to him, he's mm. like. Yes, they have two quality signings in Kulosevsky and uh, what's this other guy? Benton Kurea. That's it. Mm. But the rest of the signings are not up to the standard of where the Tottenham wants to be. Mm. Okay, mm. so you have so many fringe players in Tottenham. Mm. Okay, I mean, it's not only a bad deal. Would you keep Hoiberg 
in a city squad? Would you put Hoiberg in a Barcelona squad? Would you bench Hoiberg in a Bayern Munich squad? Totally bench. Well, I mean, Hoiberg is not the worst of them. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying so. He's good. I mean, think about it. Yeah. Doherty has gone to Atletico oh Madrid. My God, yeah, yeah, yeah. Why the fuck they sign him? They also signed Jed Spence. Jed Spence. That right back who was wanted by almost everybody. Had he ever even played? Nothing. Oh, yeah. Look at uh, look at the academy guys who who are who are in Tottenham. These two midfielders, uh, Oliver Skip, mm. and the other guy who who is on loan in in Italy. I've forgotten Wings. his name. What's his name? Wings. Wings. Harry Wings. Oh, Harry Wings. So they were Michael. Uh, Skip. I mean, how do you have someone called Skip in your midfield? Oliver He's Skipping. But that's a t- <laughs> Skip. But you see, in terms of them getting now um, players from the youth, mm. the youth system coming up. I think Hurricane was the last revelation. Yeah. So Hurricane no, will go to the office and say, yeah. "Your own quality players." The other one they have is the assistant coach now, Ryan Mason, <laughs> 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 who may, they might be hoping might come in and step in for so, yeah, content. Big I Ryan. believe Nagelsmann, if he decides to go to Tottenham, yeah, first thing he has to keep Hurricane in the mm, squad. Mm. He has to show Hurricane how we are going to win at least a yeah, cup. Yeah. Two ones and a cup. Man, at least. At least. Carabao. Two at least, some, at least a medal. Show me how I'm going to get not a medal a, this season. Not a preseason cup and no, stuff. No, no, no. A medal this season yeah. in terms of a cup. Mm. And then show me how I can be able to break Alan Shearer's uh, record, record in the Premier League. By signing a number 10 that would supply me those balls. Yeah. One time. Because they have not had such for a while. Since Christian Eriksen, I'll wait. Yeah. And even Dele Alli. But on the flip side, oh, yeah, Dele Alli. Thomas Tuchel, is it the right match for Bayern Munich? I mean, if, if they're looking to play attractive football, which is something I think one of them mentioned, I know the current sporting director, but their CEO. Mm-hmm. Oliver Kahn. Yeah. yeah. Or even their chairman. Mm-hmm. Thomas Tuchel and attractive football, do they go hand in hand? I think it, it does because they, they looked at the blueprint of what he used in Chelsea when he got in first and mm. won the Champions League. Not attractive football, though. It wasn't that attractive, but well, they had results. But they they got results. Mm. Then after that, um, them winning, mm-hmm. um, they, well, did they win the league? No, no they didn't. No, 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 they didn't. They didn't. They win the Champions League, and then it was down from and there. Then it was down from there. Mm. I mean, it's a blueprint, maybe also of PSG, mm. how PSG were playing under Tuchel, and then now Tuchel also is going there to do a rebuild. Mm. You know, sorry, but um, the likes of the striker, what's his name again? Chupa Morton. Mm. It's time. Chupa Morton. Yeah, yes, you'll have, you, you, the time is yeah. up. But you have to pick up his agent, by the way. He has hey, one of the dopest super agents. Super agent. I wish I had such an agent. Yeah. His agent and Anelka's agent. Hi, for a rebuild. Brilliant. Brilliant. So, Made of course, yeah. he, he will go in to, for a rebuild, mm. I believe. I believe. I mean, Unfortunately for Leipzig and for Borussia Dortmund, yeah. that means losing players. Oh, yes. Because yeah. that's where they always come and yeah. coach. Yeah. So I was wondering, like, I feel like he's not the perfect match. When he was leaving Chelsea, he was not playing very good football. Mm-hmm. I mean, even when they won the Champions League, well, they won the Champions League, but not football that would be like, leaving you like, wow, that's Who really knows, good. maybe he's changed some bits and pieces. Because yeah. before being appointed, you know, you have a presentation. Yes, maybe. maybe. Be- before that, before mm. signing the contract, you have to present to the board your vision mm. of what you'll do with, ba- with uh, Bayern Munich. Was well, this one even audition? This one feels like it was just picked. Kuja, where do you go free? This guy has been living in Munich for the last three, four months. Yeah. Trust me. These conversations have been happening mm. behind the behind scenes. Behind closed doors. It was either the end of the season, Nagelsmann goes, yeah. or in between. Either way, this guy was going to be the new coach. Yeah. yeah. All right. So, Thomas Tuchel is the new coach for Bayern Munich. Let's see how far he can take them yeah. as far as maybe banging the Champions League. Because mm. I feel like that's the one they really want. Yeah. Um, and, of course, he has done it at Chelsea before. All right. Two other things have happened. Mm-hmm. Guys have gotten into retirement, have retired from football. Others are getting out of retirement. Ozil called it quit or hung his boots, not uh, called it quit. I, I think for me that's uh, for yeah. me it was disappointing. Why? I still don't think he, he got to his full potential. Yes, he won the World Cup with Germany. Yes. Um, did he win a Champions League with uh, Real Madrid? I don't know. I feel like he could have. Yeah. yeah. He Let, did. Let's think about that. Maybe. Oh, because that's when they were winning the trilogy. Then yes. the Chumali, but he was at Arsenal. Yes, yes. Where yes, yes. Winning Champions League is where you have to draw the line. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he, he came to Arsenal and, you know, won, I think, two FA Cups. That's it. Mm. And then after that, all the ridicule he got for either his belief, his faith, mm. uh, obviously, uh, that did not go well. He went back He went back to Turkey. Yes. He denounced the idea of Germany. Mm. And then from there, it was just a downward spiral. But at what? 34, 35? He must be 35. I still think he did not he, he did not get to his full potential. Uh, in my opinion. Yeah, your opinion. But as a player, mm. 
What magician. Is who's called the noise magician? I mean, I put Javi, I put Iniesta, then I put Ozil in terms of creative mentality. You know, when you see the likes of Bruno Fernandes, when you see the likes of um, your captain, mm. what's his name again? Uh, Odegaard. Odegaard. Yes. You see bits and pieces of Ozil. Mm. Ozil. Ozil was great. What? Ozil, yeah. What a baller. Mm. What a baller. I mean, it's crazy. I mean, uh, at Arsenal, that's where things started going I th- south. I, I think he should have even had a controversial moment. He should have gone to Spurs after Arsenal. After, just, just, just rub it in. Yeah, just rub it in. Oh, <laughs> God, yeah. We could not let that happen. We have done that with other guys before. I mean, there's a day we let Galas leave Arsenal for Tottenham. That's weird. Um, but aren't you the same guys who bought Sol Campbell from Tottenham? I mean, he, we wanted to win titles. Because <laughs> they don't do that at Spurs. <laughs> so I mean, yeah, Ozil. Of course, I feel like for him. No, see, like, he, when Galas left, that's the last time they won. Uh, they won the trophy. No, right? Did they? Fifteen years. The two eight cup, which was what? Is it Carlin Cup or Man United? Yes, yeah, Galas was playing. He was the cup? He was there. He was there. Galas was there at Tottenham. I'm not too sure now. Even uh, the bio was coming afterwards. I think. I remember came afterwards. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. So Ozil, of course, was a magician. Loved seeing at Arsenal. He has. Created very good moments. He, he came to the limelight at uh, the 2010 World Cup, mm. held in South Africa. So that was a good. Uh, that was a good uh, thing for him. He won the World Cup. Sorry, he won the World Cup 2014. The World Cup. Yeah, 2014 or oh, 2010 was Spain. Yes. Yeah. Um, and, and of course, his uh, religious beliefs started mm. going and rubbing people the wrong way. Arsenal. Mm. So he's talking about the Muslims who are being persecuted in China. Mm-hmm. That did not go well with everybody. Mm. Like a hierarchy and outside. So started cutting ties, and then uh, Ateta came and he was like, adios muchacho, it's a wrap here. And uh, things have never been the same for him, and also of course, At some point, Arsenal. Ozil was with o- o- Aubameyang and Lacazette. Like yeah. yeah, I mean, there's how, a guys, how you guys didn't win? Crazy. There's a, uh, the most iconic moment I recall for Ozil was, uh, I mean, there are so many iconic I, mean, I think the debut. The that debut? Pass. The when, debut, when, when, when he played, when he came in. Uh, awesome in the, the league or in the Champions League? W- no, it was in the league. In the league where he assisted, was it uh, Ramsey or, or Giroud? I don't, One of I those don't players. remember, but that pass. Yeah. Ah, he announced here that. Yeah. Right Even I recall his goal against Napoli in the Champions League. Mm. Brilliant goal. There's also another goal he scored against Ludo Goretz in the Champions League. Mm-hmm. Hey, Ludo Goretz, Kata, Willi, Kata, Wengine, and then back. Hey, beautiful stuff. Man. Next season, you'll be saying that about who? Odegaard. <laughs> Oh, got the champ- in, the some, champ- in the Champions League. In the Champions League. league cause, yeah, I mean, <laughs> that's why we have to we'll be there no matter what. So, I mean, Ozil was a very good player for Arsenal. It's mm. sad how things went south. Yeah, 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 yeah absolutely. Yeah. Another player who was also good for Arsenal, and then he went on to become an asshole, was Adebayo. Mm. Adebayo will never. Do you know the worst part about Adebayo that yeah. I remember? Yeah. It's that goal against Arsenal. When you I don't remember Chelsea. I don't remember, sorry, Arsenal goals. I don't remember Man City goals. Yeah. I remember that goal. Buddha. Yani, I recall watching that and I'm like, this motherfucker. <laughs> yani, <laughs> is that a celebrate Kutoka Uko on the Kuja Dua slide next to Arsenal fans? I think you're so lucky he didn't get a coin to his face. Yeah, he could have got it. I don't lucky. even know how he's not through a lot of things at him. But that, is, that was the thing. When he bust out the when he bust out the first time in football, mm. I looked at him and I said, "This is a long-term replacement for Kanu mm. in Arsenal. Mm. You know, built stature, everything. He looked like a Kanu, mm. and he played that way. He played like Kanu, to be honest. Yeah. And I knew, man, say, yeah, this is it. Yeah. Then played a couple of seasons for Arsenal. Yeah. And when he went to the Tottenham. Yeah. I think we tried to keep him. I can't recall exactly how it happened with him leaving. Mm-hmm. Then he went for City. He left Arsenal for Man City when Man City had just been bought. Oh, he didn't go to Tottenham no, then no, no. Man City. I think he went to Man City. Then I think he was loaned out to Tot- to Madrid. There's a time he played for Real Madrid. Oh, and then he came back to Tottenham. Then he came back to Tottenham. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. There's a time he played for Madrid. There's a time he played yeah. alongside Ozil in Madrid. In Madrid. Oof. So yeah, De has tried. I mean, he has done his good finally. Mm. Uh, now on a Chichesa two na promotion at twenty two bet. <laughs> <laughs> but he has medals to him. He has a couple of medals. Mm. Actually, at Madrid, I think they won. They won the league in that season. I, I, don't know. I think yeah. that's when they had Mourinho. By the when way, when you, when you, when you was you lot, he won. I think uh, then was the. No, he didn't win anything with us. It was in the Carling Cup then. No, he didn't win anything with nothing. City. Nothing. Yeah, he didn't win anything with City either. City didn't win the league that time. I don't think he won. That must have been nine, nine or nine or ten seasons mm. when he went to Man City. If I'm oh, not wrong, okay. If not eight or nine, somewhere around there. Mm. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, so that and actually just before we go on, that no. is what I'm talking about rebuilding. Mm. Something like Newcastle need to do. Okay. Newcastle need to follow the blueprint of Man City. Mm. Get in experienced players, guys who have done it, guys who are recognized.
recognize impact players mm. get gets you to the next level like, then from there yeah. start building up these players to come afterwards is it possible i was just from thinking. imagine from nedim onua mm. to laporte bro at city she given to ederson, ederson. Mm. you can't be so. it up this <laughs> it was even called island uh, Stephen island, island island to to kevin de bruyne yeah. Look at that. It's a rebuild. You get it. it is a journey. Fucking hell. It I was actually journey. just thinking out loud. Yeah. The way City bought Robinho. Even it, City no 9, 10, number 10, 11. The, when they were de- that's the yeah. time they declared uh, Manze from, have arrived. Yeah, from Real Madrid. Mm. Why can't, because I feel like one of these two guys maybe might leave Real Madrid next season. Ooh. Modric or Tony. There you go. Why can't Newcastle say, fuck it? Fuck it. I from mean, here, if Christian Eriksen can come like back two, from, yeah. from such a, an, an inie, you know, a life-threatening condition. Yeah. These guys, get them in. Let them hold Richard Tony Cruz. Yeah. Give them a one-and-a-half-year contract. Yeah, and crazy wages. That's it. I mean, they can get him. But you know now, it will come back because T-shirt sales oh, yeah. skyrocket. Yeah. Tony Cruz. Yeah. And Modric. That would be crazy. The dream team in the middle. Or even just one of them. Look, if Newcastle are looking for people who can advise them on players to hire, <laughs> players to get, they can definitely look at Joe and I. <laughs> And you can, of course, we have a lot of ideas on who they can get just to get themselves back yeah. to the top echelon of but, but, European but, football. But not Ibrahimovic. No, no, that's you, 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 And not Ronaldo yeah. or Messi. No. Yeah. All right, Joe, that's what's up. Thank you so much for coming. Cheers, through. my brother. It's been a pleasure. Uh-huh. I hope to have you here again. Now, we are going to do it again. Yeah, now, sure, sure. I'm, I'm not going to do it for a whole season. Mm. We must do it. Definitely. Yeah. Doing it I think the most appropriate time to call him would be when Arsenal wins the league. After we know our next, you know, God knows, uh, maybe eight games in a row, and then you know, you can come in next weekend after yeah. Liverpool have suffered Man City. Oh yeah, even that, even that. And it's even weird because I don't support any of the teams, but I'd rather, yeah, yeah. yeah. S- skeptics will say you'd rather do Man City wins so that Liverpool don't get close to you in third position. Mm. I would think Liverpool should win so that Man City's gap can become Less smaller, but yeah. it can't. I think I can revise that by saying I am I am desperately annoyed to say this, but Man City win over Liverpool. Winning the the the, the early kickoff next weekend. Oh yeah, yeah. Man City winning the early kickoff. Mm. Damn. Yeah, what? so that at least number three we are we are bit secure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oof. Mm? That's the only okay. way. Yeah. And now even as we, now we win that weekend so that we can stretch it to four points. Yeah. yeah. Are you playing against Newcastle? Is it Newcastle? Big games hard, next man. weekend, huh? Yeah. I can't wait for them. Man. All right. So, Joe, besides that, oh, by the way, you can always catch this episode on YouTube, Football Digest K. You can catch it on Spotify, Extra Digest Podcast, same as Anchor, same as Google Podcast. All right? There's something we always do after our podcast. You have mm-hmm. done, well, one episode. Mm-hmm. Don't always do it. Now we are, we are trying to do it. Mm-hmm. It's called.